Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good. Good. Okay. Um, first of all, maybe it's something that is uh, photoshopped, but maybe not. Uh, the house on the cover. Yes. Is it an, an existing house or? Uh, I don't know the history of the photo at all, but we so a woman named Alex Prazier, um photographed it. I think it's in. I presume it's in America somewhere. She lives in California. Uh -huh. um, but we've never met. We've only uh, corresponded through email. But I'd like to know more about it. But did you did you did you call her and ask her for a cover or? Yeah, we just saw. Well, we saw we saw the image okay. uh, in, as part of her exhibition and um, got in touch and said, "Can we? We think this would be perfect for this record." And she. Uh, been into our previous record, so that's kind of easier. So she was happy for us to, to use it. Um, where did you see this uh, exhibition? It was online somewhere. Uh, I can't remember. We just kind of stumbled across it while we were looking for things, and yeah. And what were you looking for? And did you know? Um, no, nah, it's a it's a hard uh, thing to put your finger on exactly what it's, uh, I knew as soon as I saw it that that's what the cover needed to be and we've been look, I've been looking for years really like on and off trying to just look for the thing that would be perfect for it um, and just saw that and thought that's, um, that's what we've been looking for all the time. You, you were saying four years so this album has been oh, not, many? Not four years but four, oh, four, four years, years. Yeah. yeah, four years. Yeah. Um, so when was the album finished then? I mean the songs? But the songs were finished uh, early last year and then it was mixed mid last year. Okay, so it, it, mm. it took a long time to release then? Yes, it's been um, very uphill, um, but we, we kind of set up our own label and uh, that's what took most of the time really. It was about a year and a half of it. That time was spent writing and recording and the other year and a half was spent um, getting gradually more and more pissed off with the state of everything and uh, trying to raise money to just do it ourselves. Was it hard because, well, you left, <coughs> sorry, you left Rough Trade, um, why? Did you leave or did they drop you or? It was, well, it was our contract ran out really, so it was, it was a convenient way for, um, for us to, uh, yeah, it was either at that point we'd look for another, another record label to go with or we could try and start our own, so it seemed like a good time to do it really. Why? Why, um, why, why did you want to start your own? Um, I think it's, I think we're always trying to, to be, have as much freedom in this as we can and to have, um, if there are people involved that we collaborate with or um, that we, we want them to be uh, people that we trust and um, so, you know, the idea of having our own label was that we could only ask the people that we um, had a good relationship with to, to work on the record and, um, and that we could do things at the pace that we wanted to and not be beholden to anyone else. Um, it's an experiment and one that could end in a colossal failure, but it seemed like most good things have that risk. Um, and now's the time to try us. But I think also, you know, Rough Trade was such a great label to us. I can't imagine uh, anyone else's label being as great as they were. So I think it's um, the idea of just signing with some stranger that, you know, happened to take an interest in us that week. It just seemed like a very depressing um, future you could see of just going from label to label to label. So I don't know. I mean, it's possible we'll have to do that anyway. Um, depending on what the outcome of this record is, but I think it was a it's an experiment we had to we had to try. You were saying well you had to raise money uh, mm. last year. Why? Because um, we didn't have any. I think you have to yeah you have to find and it's not it's not a cheap process yeah. to get the record sounding the way we know. I mean we could have made we made an EP that was very cheaply done at home and things, you know. Um, but I didn't think I wanted to make a whole record like that. Um, I think it's important to me anyway that they have a certain sound and, and it takes a bit of money to get that together, I suppose. Yeah. So we had to find um, 
some people that were willing to kind of invest in in our label and um, and uh, you know people that had been fans of the band as well or, or had had some kind of relationship with us and who knew that if they, if they didn't put in any money then there wouldn't be another record that some who, yeah they uh, they're the reason this has seen the light of day really. so how, how 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 did you find those people um, it's yeah not a particularly interesting story but um, so not such some sort of crowdfunding online or no we didn't do like that no it's through um, people we knew and friends of friends, friends. 